Hey, what's going on guys, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to edit a Fortnite montage using Premiere Pro. I recently switched over to Premiere Pro, and I think it makes my montages just look a lot better, but it can be a little bit confusing when you first use it, so hopefully this tutorial helps you out. But anyway, without further ado, let's get right on into it. Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do when you open Premiere Pro is go to New Project, and then put in a title. I'm going to put tutorial for now, um, since I'm making a tutorial. And then you're going to import whatever files you want to use. So, um, for example, I already have um, a folder with the files I'm going to be using for this video. And I also have a folder for my intro and outro. And then you're also going to import whatever song you're using. I'm just using this instrumental montage song, um, just because it is better for the type of video I'm doing right now. But you can use whatever song you want to. And then you're just going to click create and give it a minute and then it's gonna bring you to your sequence right here and what I like to do is I like to go control A and just clear everything just clear the sequence so you have everything open and then I drag on my intro just like this and if when it asks this just do keep existing settings because it usually does it will do that every time and you can see I now have my intro on this thing and now the first thing I'm going to do, and after I put my intro on, actually I'm going to put the song down right here, and it usually is pretty loud, so um, you can just right click, do audio gain, and then you can adjust um, if you want to lower the sound, so I'm going to do like minus 7 decibels like this, and that should be enough. Let me just listen to it. Yeah, it's a bit quiet, but... If you want it higher, I'm just making it quiet because I'm talking right now. So now that you have your track on, you're going to go through and listen. Or you can just look at the scale where the beat drops are. And you're going to press M on your keyboard um, when you hear it. So pretty much, I'm going to start from over here. Press play, click on that track. And then just listen for a little bit. Okay, so we put two markers because I'm going to be doing two clips in this video. So you can see whenever the beat drops are is when you're going to want to be dragging on your clip. So you just press M on your keyboard and put down these markers whenever there's a beat drop on your audio track. Okay, guys, so now that we have our markers done on our audio track, we're going to drag in our first clip right here and just drag it in like that. And what I'm going to do since I don't want the audio in my clip is I'm going to press unlink highlight the audio part of this clip and then just clear it like that and then you can just leave the clip where it is right now and then you're going to find you're going to scroll through the clip until you find where the kill is so you're just going to see i'm going to go frame by frame until you see that the pellets have hit the body in your clip as you can see the pellets are highlighted right there on my screen and you are going to do the same thing you did with the audio track press m on your keyboard and place another marker now what you're going to do is you are going to shrink your clip down and then you're going to squeeze it and you can see your marker on your, your clip lines up with the marker on the audio track. So you can see you're going to line it up so where it shows like that, the black line right there, it's highlighting the other marker, the first marker there on a clip, you're going to put it like that. And then you're going to drag it till it joins your intro like that. And now I'm going to show you guys how it looks right now. So you have my intro. The song's going, and then you're just going to have the clip running like this. You can see I spray them down, hammer, and it will be perfectly timed. So you can see that when the beat drop happened in the song, I had the kill, which is like, um, a, it's called a synced montage. But now you're probably wondering, um, there is no sound, and I'm going to tell you guys how to fix that right now. Okay guys, so I will link a pump shotgun sound effect that you can use in your montages in the description below, as well as the presets we're going to be using in this video. So there is a headshot one, and a normal one, and for this one, I'm just going to be using the regular one, and I'm just going to drag it on. And same thing, I'm going to put a marker on it whenever I hear a beat drop, so I'm going to play it. And I'm actually going to slow it down because that is very fast, hold on. Okay. OK, 
Okay, so I got a marker on it. And what we're going to do with that is you can align all these markers together, which is why it's very important to place the markers. And now I'm going to drag this just like that when you see the black line. And now we're going to replay the first clip we have like this. And you can see the sound perfectly aligns with everything and it's fully synced. And what we're going to do is you can also turn this down if you want. I'm going to do minus four decibels because it is very loud. And now let's listen to it. It is better now. Okay, guys, so now that we have our everything is synced, we have our sound and everything, I'm going to show you guys how to add effects. I actually made some of my own presets, and I'm going to link um, some presets I found on YouTube as well and some of mine in the description below so you guys can use these. Um, so what we're going to do first is you're going to go and find, again, where the pellets are. You can see them on the screen right now. And I'm going to use... Um, impact to um, velocity right here and it says three frames back so we're gonna go one two three frames back okay hold on okay one two three and then you're going to get the razor tool and just like that you're gonna snip it like that go back to selection tool and it's as simple as that you're just gonna grab this and you're just gonna drag it on like this onto the clip just like that and it's gonna give you a warning that is completely normal um, it is fine and if you hover over it, you can see um, those lines and stuff. Don't worry about those. Once you export your montage, those won't be there. That's just to show the velocity and the shake and everything. Um, but let's let's go over it again now. You can see um, in my last montage, I did the same clip, the same effect and everything. And it looks exactly the same. But I'm going to show you one more clip with a different effect. And then we're going to go over the final product. Okay guys, I have my final clip and I am going to unlink it and I'm going to clear the audio because I don't want the audio in this one. And I already have my marker on it, but same thing. You're going to find, I'll go over it again. You're going to find where the pump shot is, like right here. We're going to find where the pellets are. You can see like right there. And you can also see the damage numbers. And you're just going to press M on your keyboard and put a marker. And we already have a marker on our soundtrack right here, you can see. So now all we need to do is drag this clip. We're going to shrink it more till it fits and lines up with that one right there. And this clip is a little bit longer than the rest of them, so. And I think it fits right there. Yep, it fits right there. So you're going to have it like that. And now once we go to where the shells are shot, we're going to get our spaz sound effect again. This one that we already have our markers on. It will save once you put the marker on the same clip. And then you're just going to drag it on like we did last time. Um, just like that. Um, oh, it is wrong right now. Okay. There we go. And now let's listen to it. Okay. It is a bit delayed. I did it wrong. I did it a bit too early so just you have to mess around with it till you find the, um, the perfect until it's perfect there we go now it's perfect we have it perfectly on and then now we're going to add a different effect so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to where the pellets are shot just like this and then we are going to do the slow down twixter velocity and you need to go 27 frames back which is a lot so we're gonna go to our clip just like this find where it shows the shells again just like this and we're gonna have to go 27 back so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now we're 27 frames back and we're going to grab our razor tool and we're going to cut it just like we did before, just like this. And we're going to grab this one and we're going to drag it on just like that. And we're going to go back and it's going to say, it's going to give us the warning again. And there it is. It does a slow-mo and then the velocity. And now the last thing we need to do, obviously if we were doing a whole montage, we would just add more clips, but it's as simple as that. Um, you just repeat the same thing and then just put your intro on the end, like 
this. That's how I put my intro. And now we're just going to watch it from the beginning. And then it would just go to your intro, just like that. But we are going to export it and show you so it's not as laggy and without those lines. Um, but yeah. Alright guys, we exported our montage and I'm just going to watch it real quick. Alright guys, you can see that there's no lines, it's smoother than it was when you were in the video editor, but I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and if you have any comment, if you have any questions, make sure to put them in the comments down below, and I will see you guys next time.